hello to all my beautiful subscribers i hope you guys are having a great day today um today's video is going to be about how i made this wig it's not a tutorial but it is a watch me work and i do have some steps in there for you guys if you do want to recreate this look i did include what dyes i used and um what hair I use, etc., etc. Um, but before I get into the video, y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Don't please don't forget, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button before I even continue with the video. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm also about to announce my giveaway once I get to 500 subscribers. That'll be my next video. So make sure you tune into that one as well so you can qualify to win the giveaway. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start the video. pack hair and it's platinum blonde hair the two bundles that i'm using is 10 inch and 12 inch in the closure is also real and it is a 5 by 5 12 inch lace closure so guys i went on ahead and made this wig off camera because i have multiple videos up of how to make a 5 by 5 closure wig so if you guys haven't checked those out i'll go ahead and drop the link right here for you So here are all the colors I used to create the neon peach. And then I just cut up some pieces of the bundle and I used them as test strips before I actually dyed my wig. So I'm not going to do too much talking during this process because it's, pretty, it's a pretty simple process. So I'm just going to let you guys watch how I do this watercolor method. The only thing I will say is to make sure that your water is either hot or boiling when you are doing the watercolor method. So guys, about midway, me coloring this wig, I decided to do an extra color and do it kind of like an ombre, but just like on the top half of the bob. So right now, you guys are watching me part the hair, and I'm about to part what section I want to add the ombre to.
so now that I have sectioned off the part that I'm going to be doing the ombre, I'm going to go ahead and pin it up. And now I'm just going to braid the remaining of the hair up in one big braid. And then I'm going to move on to my next set of watercoloring. So moving on to the second part of watercoloring, I'm showing you guys the colors that I will be using to create the ombre effect. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add them to the water and I'm going to mix them in. And after that's done, I'm going to use my test strips that I used before and I'm going to make sure I like how it looks before I actually dye my wig once again. So that was a little bit too dark, so now I'm just going to add in some cotton candy and make it a little lighter. So now I'm just going to go ahead and use another one of my testing strips. And now that I like how this turns out, I'm going to go ahead and dye my wig. So after I finished that, I went on ahead and rinsed that out and I added some conditioner. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start blow drying this wig and then I'm going to start my styling process. Y'all, I absolutely love how this color turned out. It looks more orange on camera, but it's really, really peachy in person, trust me. And I feel like those two colors just really, really go together. I don't know what made me think to do purple, but I'm most definitely happy that I did because it definitely looks bomb. If you agree that this color duo is bomb, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.
okay so now that the wig is completely blow dried out i'm gonna go ahead and add some bio silk and start my straightening process So now that that's done, I can go ahead and take last week's wig off. So right now you just are watching me put some alcohol onto a washcloth and you're seeing me dab it on there so I can start lifting the lace up. Y'all, if y'all are fellow wig wearers, y'all know it's no better feeling than to take that wig off and let your hair breathe, honey. So right now, I'm just checking out how this wig looks, trying to make sure there's nothing else that I need to do to it. And this wig is absolutely bomb, y'all. I'm super excited to try it on. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it on and I'm going to go ahead and start my install process. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take my razor and start taking off the excess lace. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and clean my forehead off with some 91% alcohol. And I'm going to go ahead and use this new lace glue. It's the Rail Styles The Melt Lace Glue. And I got it from the Beauty Beyond on Mills B Lanes in Savannah, Georgia. So now you guys are just watching me put on the first layer of the glue. Just letting it dry a little bit and now we're going to go ahead and move on to the second layer of glue. So I'm letting it dry a little bit and now I'm going to go ahead and move my lace forward and go ahead and start tacking it into place. Y'all, this wig is really orange on camera and I promise guys, it is like a peach color. It's not this orange in person. Um, although it doesn't look bad here, it's just not the actual color. Like the camera isn't doing this wig any justice guys i promise this wig is absolutely beautiful although it is beautiful here it's just not the color that it is in person if y'all know what i mean all right so after that's done i'm gonna go ahead and add some final touches to this wig as you guys can see i'm just plucking the hairline plucking the part I'm just gonna add a little bit of makeup to the part just make everything look beautiful and flawless and that's really it guys Well, guys, this is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And right now, I'm just showing you guys a few clips of how the wig looks after I, you know, was really feeling myself, getting used to the wig. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.